Am I live? Microphone is working. Webcam is on. Great. I am live. Welcome, guys. My name is Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be a video on how to create a Minecraft skin using the very, very basic good old Microsoft Paint. Okay. Um, in particular, I am using the Windows 8.1 operating system, but this will work for Windows 7, Windows XP, or really any just any operating system that has a basic uh, photo editing software such as Microsoft Paint. Okay. Um, keep in mind that because Microsoft Paint does not support transparency, uh, you will not be able to make those uh, 3D features that you see on the heads of some Minecraft skins. Uh, the more common ones are like headphones or glasses or, or like eye patches. Um, for that, you will need a photo editing software that supports transparency. Okay. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and open up an internet browser. My internet browser of choice is Google Chrome. And let me make that bigger. Go ahead and my, uh, go to Minecraft.net. Okay, I am already logged in. If you're not logged in already, go ahead and do so. Um, once you are logged in, go ahead and go to profile. And the only thing that I care about on this page is the name Steve. Okay, Steve is actually a hyperlink to an image. So go ahead and click Steve and you'll see that um, there is an image of the basic Minecraft uh, model. So we want to go ahead and save this. I'm just going to go ahead and right click, save image as, and then I'm going to save it to my desktop right there. And there, it, there Steve is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and keep that for later. And now we want to open up Steve with paint. So just go ahead and right click on the icon, open with, and then paint. Uh, alternatively, you could go ahead and open paint by itself and then go to file, open, um, Steve, okay? And then Steve will be right there. Um, but anyway, Steve is very small. He's actually 64 pixels by 64 pixels. Um, so you're probably wondering how the heck am I going to, you know, edit this, you know? Okay, well, you're going to have to zoom in. <laughs> So let's go ahead and zoom in. You could zoom in with this little, um, at the bottom right, there is a little slider, a zoom slider. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and hit the plus sign to 800% uh, zoom. You could also hit the control button and move your scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out, just like that. Okay. And let me keep this as simple as possible. Okay, guys. I'm going to actually go ahead and get rid of this stuff right here at the bottom. Um, it's that right there is actually his left leg and his left arm. Um, if we want to make it different from the right leg and the right arm. Okay. But if we go ahead and get rid of those like that, um, it, Minecraft will be like, okay, since we we got rid of his uh, left leg and left arm, we'll just use this uh, leg and this arm. We'll take those, and whatever whatever the user puts here, we'll duplicate it so um, both the legs will look the same, both the arms will look the same. If that makes sense, okay? And the way I got rid of that, by the way, is you want to go ahead and go to the bottom right of the image, and you'll see this little tiny tiny square. And once you hover your mouse over the square, you'll see a uh, diagonal um, arrow just like that and you want to go ahead and just go up that's it just go up okay you don't w you don't want to go any left or any right okay you just want to go up to where the uh, skin meets the I guess the dotted line okay if you make it any bigger like that it's not gonna work okay any bigger it's not gonna work any smaller it's not gonna work so make sure you come to that exact point right there okay all right so what next okay select the pencil tool right here um we'll be needing this i think it's the easiest way to skin a, a skin using microsoft paint is is with the pencil tool and once we have the pencil tool selected go to size right here towards the right and then make sure the smallest size is selected which is one pixel um you could use any other size but i, th I think one pixel is is definitely um, 
easier to work with, okay? Uh, so here we got his head, okay? This is his head right here, obviously. That's his, the front of his, that's his face, <laughs> okay? And that's, I think this is the left side of his head and that's the right. It might be flip-flopped, I'm not exactly sure. Um, this is the top of his head right here and this is the back of his head right here, okay? So, let's go ahead and make his head interesting here. I'm gonna keep this very, very simple, okay guys? Um, I actually want him to have a totally white face just to make it like super explicit, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and make his wife, his <laughs> make his face white is what I meant to say. And I am just filling in each pixel one by one. And this is why I would like to have a, a larger zoom. But um, this will have to do. It's really hard to get uh, as precise and accurate as you want with an 800% zoom. But it's paint, and if paint is all we got, then we'll make use of paint. Okay, now this might look very weird to you at first. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just making his his actual physical skin um, white. And uh, again, I'm doing this just to make it really, really explicit. Okay. So let's, let's put in some lips here. All right. Wow. Those are some super cute lips. And I'm going to put in some eyes. <laughs> okay. And um Yeah, let's 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 put in some blonde highlights in his hair. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot some of his skin right there. Okay. Let's put in some blonde highlights in his hair real quick. Bam bam bam. Bam. Bam bam bam. All right, dirty blonde, baby. We also got to do this part of his head. Let's just make the front of his face all blonde hair. It's going to be super weird, but screw it. Okay. And then and then put some put some more blonde highlights right here. Also known as diagonal lines. <laughs> See how creative I am, guys. Um, but don't get discouraged. You might have to do this a lot because it, it will be a, a, a trial and error. Um, okay. Just like that. And um, I don't know what to do at the back of his head. Let's just put, like, um, I don't know, a... a a blob a blob forget it we'll just put a blob i don't know what to put there um his neck that's his that's his neck right there um we'll just leave it blank most people won't um you won't really be able to see the neck but um i guess if you get in the right angle you could probably see it but i'm just gonna leave that just the way it is okay and um let's see what we got here okay i want to put the peace sign on his front torso okay and this is his front torso right here this is the front part of his shirt and this right here that's you know the top part of his torso and you might guess that this is the the back of his shirt right here b for back wow that's a terrible looking b i'm sorry guys uh so that's the back that's the front and these right here these right here those are the sides okay and Obviously, these are the this is the leg, and this is the arm, okay. And I don't know, maybe I just want to put a peace sign on his on the front of his torso. I don't even know what that looks like. Uh, for some reason, I am thinking of the Mercedes sign. Okay, that's how peace looks like. Duh. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the peace sign right there on his um, front part of the shirt oh that's gonna that's gonna look very bad but it's okay we'll have to manage bam 
just like that okay peace that's a very that's a very nice looking peace sign um on his back uh i guess we could outline the back with some pink look how creative i am guys wow i'm so creative like peace sign and a pink outline white face what is going on okay and i'm gonna leave the sides his sides alone i really don't care about that obviously um you could go as into much detail as you want you could even select um the colors here with the edit colors button you could get to like some funky colors that you wouldn't normally be able to get to using this default palette here um and yeah you could just go to town uh these are his shoulders i'm actually gonna like put some like weird design there um, I don't know what I'm doing in terms of how it's going to look, but as long as you mess around, like I said, it is trial and error, then, um, you'll be good. Um, his legs, I'm just going to leave them the same. Okay. And once you have the skin that you've been working on for two hours in Microsoft windows, um, I'm sorry, in, in Microsoft paint, um, go ahead and save save it okay definitely want to go ahead and save it so go to file save as and i'm going to go ahead and name it skin just to be very generic and unoriginal and make sure that the save as type is png okay um i believe that my uh minecraft only supports png for their um uh, skins um but if not, let me know because I'm really not too sure. I just know that PNG will work for sure. Um, and then you'll get this error message, or not really error message, but this disclaimer saying any transparency will be lost if you save the picture, which is fine. That's okay. Um, go ahead and hit OK on that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this. And there's the skin I just made, okay? And I'm going to go back to Minecraft.net. Make that bigger. And go back to profile, scroll down a bit until you see the choose file button. Go ahead and click that, and you'll be prompted to open the skin that you just made. In my case, skin.png. And then I'll go ahead and hit the upload button. And if everything goes well, you will see this green message. Um, otherwise, you will see a red message saying something along the lines of, oh, check your dimensions or it might even be the fact that minecraft might be down at the current time that you're trying to upload the skin or something along those lines um but if that's red more than likely you didn't follow directions carefully okay um so let's take a look how does my super pimped out uh skin look in minecraft it's gonna be so bad but um, for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to keep everything really basic. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Let me make that full screen for you guys. Okay, and I'll just enter the world here. Okay, F5. And there you see that beautiful splot on the back of my head. You see that the um, the back of the uh, shirt is outlined in pink. And I also have some nice little designs in my shoulders. And let's take a look at the front. There we go. Oh my goodness. I just look, that's worse than, that's even scarier than Ronald McDonald right there. And the very terrible peace line that I have drew on the front of the shirt. Okay, guys. And that's as basic as it gets. That's as simple as it gets. You could do this with um, any photo editing software um, out there. So Paint obviously is free and it comes on every single Windows operating system. So you could take full advantage of Paint. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, be sure to drop that in the, uh, the comment section below or message me on YouTube. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps, guys. Um, share the video, favorite the video, whatever you want to do with the video. That will be awesome. Um, anyway, have a great day on any given day that it is for you. Um, and see you next time. All right.